Today we're going to be setting up the Huawei B512. I've just got this router and I've plugged it in. I've been advised by my ISP that the SIM is active. So what we're going to do is log on to the router and then check the settings out. Okay, so to log on to your router, you're going to have to, in your web address for your browser, type in 192.168.8.1. Hit enter. Now, this is going to bring up the login page. Now, this is going to be the first time that I'm accessing this router. By default, the password is going to be the word admin. Once I log in, it's going to give me the Huawei Mobile Broadband Devices Privacy Notice. I'm going to click next on that and then agree to the user agreement. Then it's going to give me the option for overnight updates and I'll say enable and continue. Now, what we're going to do is by I'm going to set this wireless network password. Uh, well, that was the wireless network name or SSID and we're going to set the password as well. Okay, let's go next. I'll just set this to the same as the Wi-Fi password and go finish. Okay, so now we've got um, this page over here where we're trying to or going to have to set up the connection. So over here we, we are on the home page and what we see is the, the signal that's firstly coming through and we also see um, whether or not this router is connecting to the internet or not. Now by default it looks like this router actually is. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to
Okay, we're in the router. So basically from here, what you want to do is navigate over to advance. Okay, so from there you want to go over to router and click on VPN. Now as you see, we do not have VPN enabled. So to enable it, just click on the little tick. Okay, and here you've got quite a little bit of options. So we'll discuss what options you have here. So obviously you've got your connection type. Now you've got two different options depending on what your VPN supports. If you're doing Express VPN and IP Vanish, it supports the bottom one, which is going to be L2TP VPN client. Then what you're going to want to do is whack in the web address that they provide, which is that one here. Host name, you can put whatever you want. So if you want to put where this server is coming from, right in the city. Tunnel password is your own generic password, but you need, which I don't understand why. So you need to make your own generic password for the tunnel password. Um, keep that to 60, don't change that. Then when we go down, you're gonna see PPP um, username and password. For the password, this will be on ExpressVPN and this will be on IPVanish, so make sure you put the correct um, username and password there. Then you've got your connection, always have it on auto, by clicking that. Then when we hit save, you'll be good to go. Okay, so we'll just wait for that to enable and then we'll open another thing and just check what the IP is. And it should say we're in Washington or something. Okay, so we've connected all that, that's all gone through. So now let's hit the plus button up the top here. And now we just wanna just do a generic Google search on um, IP, just to check if it actually has worked 100%. So we'll just do IP, um, click on the first one. And there you go, we're in the United States, right there. Oh, I'm gonna do that. And that works 100%. So that way you know the whole thing works and it actually does show Organization Express VPN. So let's get out of that. So that's how you do that. To now you can just get out of the, the um, settings and basically you're now connected on the encrypted network and that way your ISP can't track what you're doing. However, if you, if you wanna turn that off, you don't want the VPN on, just click the little box. Okay.